Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. This is the review of the PSL 6 final between Multan Sultan and Peshawar Zalmi. Multan Sultan winning their first championship. It was a brilliant performance by them. They were consistent throughout the tournament and they were up against a very good Peshawar team actually uh, who, who had players in form the likes of uh, Shoaib Malik, uh, Hazrat Allah Zaizai, uh, Kamran Akmal. These guys, you know, have been hitting the ball well uh, during the tournament but uh, Multan had their own uh, uh, players who were in fantastic form. Shoaib Maksud, so brilliant Riley Rousseau. Mohammad Rasan has been so consistent throughout this season even if you look at before it was um, postponed he was brilliant when they were playing back in Pakistan and uh, deserved the winners are Multan it was a really good performance by them batting first and uh, they did exactly what you're supposed to do in a final put big runs on the board and that puts uh, pressure on Peshawar who had a really good batting lineup uh, mind you you know if it was any other day 206 could have been chaseable on this wicket with that Peshawar lineup but a final it's it's like chasing 250 that pressure is always there no matter how experienced you are and um, that's exactly what multan did a really good start from the opener shan masood and mohammed rizwan uh, anchoring the innings well set the foundation they weren't striking it too quickly they were hitting the odd boundary rotating the strike well um, you know rizwan was 30 of 30 shan masood 37 of 29 but they laid the foundation they didn't allow any quick wickets and that allowed the middle order to come in and tong from ball one and you know just keep hitting it and that's exactly what soeb masood and riley rizwan did Uh, if you look at Maksud's strike rate, 185, 65 of 35 deliveries. Riley Rousseau, 50 of 21. A strike rate of 238 in a final. That is just unbelievable stuff. And it all already puts you in the driver's seat in a final if you have their striking like that. And I think their game plan was perfect for this final. Start a bit conservatively, uh, you know, keep wickets at hand and then go for an all-out attack. And they executed it to perfection. Kush Dil Shah came and hit 15 of 5 as well. And a target of 206 was always going to be like 250, 260 in a final. And that's exactly what it was. If you look at uh, Peshawar's batting, Kamran Akmal gave them a good start, 36 of 28. So Hazrat Allah Zaizai, he just could not click and he's been their star performer in the last few games, you know, chasing down these big scores. They rely on him. He starts a bit slow, but then he starts to smash it and uh, his strike rate is always high. But um, unfortunately, he just could not going, get going in this final and that's the pressure of a run chase. Uh, it's not uh, easy. And apart from him, then, you know, Shoaib Malik came in. Again, he looked in outstanding form. I think he's had a brilliant tournament. He's making a case even at the age of 38, 39 to play for Pakistan. Um, He's been so consistent this tournament. I think the you know his fitness is remarkable, uh, and um, that's allowing him to play for this long. Again, 48 of 28, but he just did not get the support. Uh, you know, Roman Powell came in 23 of 14, uh, Rutherford 18 of 10, but you needed someone to stay there. Like you know, you had Riley Rousseau and Maksud both going at it, both hitting 50s. Shoaib Malik did not get that support, and in the end, it was uh, one run too many for Peshawar, and he even got out before getting to 50. Shoaib Malik and It was, uh, you know, the downfall for Peshawar there. If you look at Multan, you know, experienced bowling lineup. Sohil Tanvi has been here, done that. He's won a IPL final as well. Uh, Imran Khan, I, uh, I felt he bowled really well, picked up a couple of wickets. But uh, for me, it was Imran Tahir, uh, you know, rolling back the years. This guy is just keeps bowling, keeps picking up wickets. Uh, you know, leg spinners are always important in your team. But, you know, the accuracy which he bowls with is just outstanding. Keeps on picking up wickets. Uh, four overs, 33 runs, three wickets and three wickets in one over. Just turned the whole game in Multan's favor. Outstanding. He's been a sensational bowler for South Africa, for uh, IPL franchises in the past as well. And uh, he's done it again here for Multan. He's won a championship. Outstanding performance uh, by him. As well. We talked about age and um, Imran Tahir as, as well. Like, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Age is just a number. For, yeah, and a brilliant, uh, a brilliant bowling performance uh, by Multan overall. And, uh, you know, I, I really want to talk about Mohamed Rizwan. I think uh, he was struggling to get into the team, even, uh, um, you know, like the Pakistan team, Multan team as well. He was struggling to get, like, you know, be consistent. But now... He's a permanent fixture in Pakistan. He's a permanent fixture in uh, Multan as well. He can play all formats. Uh, I think he's played really good test cricket this year as well. And, uh, you know, just outstanding. Very good to see him uh, succeed. And um, really happy for him as captain as well. I think he he, he he kept his calm. He didn't look too over, um, you know, overexcited or anxious or anything like that. He kept his nerve in the final. And he handled his bowlers really well. The bowling changes were perfect. And um, hats off to him. I think um, this Multan team deserves every bit of uh, credit that you can give them. 
overall, I think, uh, you know, uh, they were the best team in the tournament. I think Peshawar also, they played really well. You know, it just, the, it, it didn't pay off for them. The bullish did disappoint. Wahab Riyaz, as captain, you expected more for him him with the ball. But overall in the tournament, I think they had a really good tournament. Uh, Peshawar have been a consistent side in the PSL uh, over the past few years, since it started actually. And uh, now it's just, you know, trying to, uh, learn from these experiences and then now win more finals as time comes. Whereas Multan is a, a new franchise. They've won the first tournament now and for them, it's just building from here and hopefully they can maintain their core going on next season. I, uh, I think, um, you know, apart from uh, Rizwan, Shah Masood, Shah Maksud, these guys were the core, but Riley Rousseau is very important of that core as well. These four batsmen, I think, really did a good job for them. And we, as we mentioned, the bowlers always chipped in. Uh, when you have Imran Tahir, the, 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 the wickets are always a guarantee. So, brilliant performance by Multan. Uh, you know, Peshawar expected a bit more, but again, you know, chasing 200 is always difficult. I, I think the bowlers needed to be a bit more economical, pick up a bit more wickets, and I think that's where they lost the game. Uh, it was a, a great match. Uh, PSL has finally ended. Uh, you know, Multan deserved winners. Let's see what happens next year. But until then, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, uh, stay, stay tuned for the latest cricketing content.